all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how to encrypt and decrypt a particular plain text message with the help of private and public key so let's open the terminal and start the jupyter notebook so let me go to the desktop data and the uh, right let's just start the jupyter notebook So here is the file. So this is the episode 2 of the RSA implementation in Python. So in the previous video we have seen how to generate private and public keys value pairs. This is the output of private and public keys. So in this video, we're going to see how to encrypt and decrypt a particular print text message. So first of all, let's declare a variable called message and let's give it a content. Let's say this is high, highly secret message Then we're going to be copying and pasting the previous private and public keys right here. So as you guys can see, I have pasted the public key text and similarly, I'm going to paste the private key text. So let me copy the private key uh, right from the output. So just copy it, then paste it. So make sure not to make any empty lines and empty spaces. All right, so once it's done, let me run all of the cells above it. So run all above. It's done. Let's run this particular. All right. Now we're going to be importing these particular two public keys. So private and public keys. So I'm going to use private. Private key is equals to RSA dot import key. And now here I'm going to pass the private key here. So just type private underscore key underscore text similarly goes with the uh, public key so public key is equals to all right so public key is equals to rsa dot import key and now here i'm going to provide public key text all right so once we have imported these two particular keys now I'm going to declare a function called encrypt which takes two argument the first one is the public key to encrypt the plain text and the next one is the message all right so now then we're going to return the encoded message so which is going to be public key dot encrypt and then we're going to pass the message dot encode and now it takes the another argument that's called k which is an arbitrary integer you can provide anything so let's say zero so now if i'm gonna run this particular function let's run it and let's print the output so i'm gonna print the output i get from here so public key and then the message and let's run it so as you guys can see it's actually returning a tuple and not exactly returning this particular encoded message and this particular encoded message is in the binary format so it will be more cool if i just convert it into the base 64 encoded format so i'm gonna do that so let me declare the variable let me cut this particular code i'm gonna return base 64 dot b64 encode and inside this we're going to pass the whole thing now since it is actually returning a tuple so i'm going to use the very first element of the tuple and i am gonna decode that do not decode it the base 64 dot encode message actually requires a byte like object so let's run this particular thing and similarly this now as you guys can see it's actually returning a binary text 
and it's actually in the base 64 encoded format. So now I'm gonna write a function which will decrypt this particular message and give you the original message based on your private key. So let's name this particular message called decrypt. It takes two argument. Um, the first one is going to be private key. So private key and the next one is going to be encoded message like this. All right, so we're gonna be returning private key dot decode method we're going to be using private key dot decode and then passing the encoded underscore message format now we need to make sure that it's actually not base 64 format so i'm going to type base 64 dot b64 decode and then passing this All right let's run it let's print the output of this particular function and let me just declare this particular output as a and let's print a let's run this function and print the output we're gonna pass the private key so private key and the next thing is the encoded message that we get so that's it so let's run it so we are getting error as you guys can see here. RSA object has no attribute decode. Right, so that was decrypt. Let's run it and let's run it. So now as you guys can see here, we got the original message. So this is how you can encrypt and decrypt a particular plain text message with the help of RSA private and public keys. Thanks for watching this video guys and meet me in the next video where we're going to be exploring the signature and verification process of RSA encryption.